Hello, y'all. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to be at airport most of the day and on the airplane most of the day. So I s saw it would be good just to post the video early. So I'm sorry if you're early in the morning. You'll probably see this later in the day. Or you might be seeing this right now. Anyway, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a likely Eastern United States system. And you have Boss Sebastian Webb channel, of course. Uh, it's in very short range, pretty much about to happen. So let And it's a 34 slide video so it's longer than usual anyway let's get started so we have uh, the gfs model to start off um and we see uh, snow in like uh illinois indiana ohio wisconsin places like that and then like louisiana mississippi alabama uh georgia south parts of south carolina north carolina and florida at hour uh 48 uh and then we have hour 51, where the snow is uh, pretty much the same as well as the rain. Also, uh, you'll be seeing, like, at, uh, pretty specific uh, things in the video because I posted of every hour available. Like, I every three-hour term, uh, it's, it's in this video. During the system, like, I don't skip hour terms. Like, I don't skip a couple hours, if you know what I mean. Anyway, moving on, we uh, then have the system... Starting to get heavier snow we see in the Midwest, and rain pretty much the same, a little more, uh, well, less scattered in the South, uh, but moving a little more North. Then we have the snow, much more widespread as well as the rain. The rain and snow have gotten heavier in places, and, um... Then we see the rain and the snow, which still are getting heavier, form into like a system that is pretty much for most of the eastern United States. We see much heavier snow and rain across the south and north. Uh, so like Louisiana all the way up to Massachusetts, we're seeing stuff. And that heavier rain is around northern Alabama, Georgia, uh, parts of Tennessee, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and then the heavier, and that's the heavy rain. But the heavy snow, it's places like southern Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. And then we see uh, pretty much the same picture here in this hour, so I'm just going to skip over that. Well, and the rain is, the heavier rain, which is still getting heavier, is down like North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. And the much heavier snow is around New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Um, it's leaving, and the storm is like tr starting to leave off the coast now. And all this heavy snow around Massachusetts and stuff, all this heavy rain, and like still in South Carolina and North Carolina. Uh, and then pretty much moving off the coast, as we see here in Austin, really see there. And then it's pretty much off the coast at hour 78. So like about uh, one to two days total impact span, I would say. And I would say it's moderate system. Like, it's not really strong, but it's not really weak. It's like, it's not one of those systems where it's like just a weak system you wouldn't really care about, but it's not one of those big systems that's making big headlines or anything. So it's like around a moderate system. Have you, this is the 48 hour precipitation. It's because that's around the storm's length. Uh, so we do see, uh, like I said, the heaviest rain for um, places like North and South Carolina, because we saw when the rain was getting the heaviest, uh, it was around North and South Carolina. So, yeah, we can definitely see that up to um, over an inch of rain there. And then we still see up to a half an inch in and over half an inch in places like Northern Georgia around Atlanta. And then uh, we have still some... Not up, to, like, up to half an inch. Not quite there, but still uh, moderately heavy rain uh, around uh, Alabama. But moderately heavy rain, I mean, like, it's still heavy rain, but not at the highest rate. So, like, the, the biggest heavy rain is, like, a high rate of heavy rain. Like, but moderately heavy rain is what I mean. Like, 
it's heavy rain, but not for as long as a time. Like, it's going to move on quickly. But you still see the heavy uh, rain totals left by it. Just not as much of where the rain, the heavy rain lasted long. Sorry if that sentence just now was confusing. Uh, it might have, it was a little confusing to me too, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so we do have snow totals. We have, uh, so we have the heaviest snow right here, and then we have moderately heavy snow here. Like I said, so by moderately heavy and then just heavy snow, heavy snow is like the snow was heavy for a while. Moderately heavy snow was like, it was heavy snowing at a time, but it wasn't for as long. The same applies to rain, except it's rain in that case, not snow. I hope I explained it better there. Anyway, let's move on to the ECMWF, a.k.a. European model. So, I don't have as much pictures for this because not as much to show because European is not showing as much as GFS, but then again, it is much more detailed. So, um... Yeah, we moderately heavy snow and moderately heavy rain. We see in the circled areas like southern Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Georgia. And then we see uh, Indiana, Ohio. Um, yeah. And then we see the system starting to move. So we still see all of the moderate heavy rain totals. So, by that, I mean, like, it's moderate in the area I just circled. That's the moderate rain I just showed, but now it's starting to get heavier. Uh, the snow is actually getting lighter, but, um, yeah, so we see the moderate to heavy rain now. Uh, Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, uh, southern Georgia, and uh, mid uh, central Georgia, too. As well. Again, I did not mean to press that, sorry, because the pen buttons are pretty close to the record button. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we see this moderate rain now getting pretty much into heavy rain in spots like this, and then the much lighter snow uh, starting to move closer to the coast. We see this heavy rain around North and South Carolina, as well as Georgia, and the seems the ECMWF is showing much more of a rain scenario than a snow scenario and GFS is mixed on it it's showing pretty much the same so it seems ECM ECMWS sorry about that and GFS both show like more of a rain than snow scenario uh for the south but if we're looking as a whole it seems ECM also about the south part is pretty obvious but for the ECMWF part, it's pretty much showing more rain overall, while G um, GFS is more like 50-50 on the rain snow, how much it's showing. But we see in the ECMWF, we see definitely not as much snow. So yeah, we got this light snow, and then we got the, all the heavy rain still in North and South Carolina coastal areas, uh, mainly moderate. Uh, rain there now, but if you go to the Outer Banks, you still see some heavy rain, but it's definitely moving off the coast at this point. Um, yeah, then it's just pretty much moving off the coast. I see there's nothing that left here, but we see do see that now the snow has got a little heavier as it moves off the coast and around Maine. So, yeah, and then we see the ECMWF rain totals now. We do see there was a much more of a rain scenario. We see, like, uh, parts of Louisiana, uh, southern Alabama and Georgia, and uh, South Carolina and North Carolina, we see up to uh, one to two inches of rain, which is much more than the GFS was showing. And isolated parts of Louisiana, we see half an inch to a little over an inch. So, yeah, and they're showing a little more of a southern thing. And much less snow, as you can see here. Um, yeah. Now, let's look at severe weather. Okay, so there is other factors in severe weather, of course, and uh, those other factors are in place. So I saw I'm just going to focus in for this video because there's already so many slides on the things you guys know the most, which is instability, but mainly known as CAPE in the YouTube weather community. So this is our 117, and we do see around up to 1,500, maybe even isolated 2,000 spots in Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas. This is a deep south region, but the CAPE is uh, moving 
the high cape of up to 2,000 is in parts of coastal Texas. But I do include that in my graphic for it, even though you can't really see it here. And then our 120, it definitely calms down in the severe weather. But we do still see up to 1,500 in coastal Texas areas, as well as Mississippi, like central Mississippi, to northern Mississippi. And finally, here is my graphics. So for the, um, the original system that I was mainly talking about for most of this video... We, uh, I put two models together, the ECMWF and GFS, and my predictions to make this. So we do see in this, um, light, uh, green, like lime, it's light to moderate rain, mainly shown by the models. So consistent light to moderate rain. And then in this dark green, we see consistent moderate to heavy rain. In this light blue, we see consistent in the models, light to moderate rain, and moderate to heavy rain. Uh, I meant snow consistently. So, sorry about that. So, I meant rain for down here, but like, for here, I meant snow. So, for, let me re rephrase that. Light blue is consistent light to moderate snow in the models. Uh, dark blue is consistent moderate to heavy snow in the models. And same for uh, rain, except it's rain, and it's the green colors, not the blue colors. Sorry about the mistake I made over the past two minutes. Like I said, it's early, but I'm just trying to get this video off for y'all. But I, I haven't been making mistakes most of the video, so I believe I'm doing good. Anyway, moving on from that, severe weather. This is more of you have severe weather and then you have worse severe weather. Not like uh, really bad severe weather to normal severe weather. So we do see any severe weather potential uh, from in this light red area. But it's marginal threat probably. But then in this darker red we do see some more slight risk. I'm not saying there will be a severe weather event. But in the case that these models what they are showing holds and the storm predictions that it decides to put something but usually they are like they can serve they're saying like you're not fully outgoing like they'll underestimate a lot of times or the severe weather event might just calm down and it might not happen at all and the model stops showing it that's also a possibility but for severe weather at the moment there is not a lot to talk about it with it I hope y'all enjoyed the video, uh, and I will see you guys later today or in another video in a couple days. Uh, so, yeah. Bye.